This is subtraction of signed numbers. I have the equation positive 7 plus positive 3 plus positive 4 plus positive 3 plus negative 4. And I'm going to have the students lay that out with the snake, the negative snake material. And then we'll start using the snake to exchange and come up with our answer. So we have positive 7 plus positive 3, that's 10. Then we have positive 4 plus positive 3, that's 7. Then we have 7 plus negative 4, and that gives us 3. So the students have 13 left, and they can go ahead and check their work by adding. We have 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 7 is 14, plus 3 is 17. Then we have negative 4, and so we have 13. But we're going to go on to the next step, and so we're going to reconstruct our snake. And I'll have them record they had 13. Now what I'm going to have the students do is I would have them rewrite the equation. And we're going to put that in parentheses this time. So we're going to use parentheses, then we have positive 7 plus positive 3 plus positive 4 plus positive 3 plus negative 4. We've written out our equation, we have it in parentheses, and now I'm going to tell the student that I'm going to remove part of the snake. I'm going to subtract the positive 4, and we're going to record this on our paper as minus positive 4. And then I'm going to have the students recalculate what's left in our snake. So we have 7 plus 3. Then we have 3 plus negative 4. And now we have 10 plus negative 1. So we have 9 left. We're going to record that answer. And then I'm going to have the students reassemble the original snake. So we're going to reassemble our snake. And then I'm going to have the students again write down the equation in parentheses. So we have positive 7 plus positive 3 plus positive 4 plus positive 3 plus negative 4. And that goes in parentheses. This time what we're going to do is we're going to subtract our negative 4. So I'm going to take that and I can put that off to the side. And we're going to record that on paper that we subtracted our negative 4. And now I'm going to have the students recalculate their snake. So they have 10 plus 3. Now we're going to recalculate our snake. We have 7 plus 3 equals 10. And we have 4 plus 3, that equals 7. We have 17 left. So I'm going to have them record that as positive 17. After we do several of these examples, the students might come to the conclusion that when they subtracted a positive number, that their answer got smaller. 
but that when we subtracted a negative number, our answer got larger. And I would continue to do these with the students until they saw the pattern in the equations. For this presentation, we're deriving the rule for subtracting sign numbers. I would have the students write down four separate equations, the first being positive 9 minus positive 4. Then we have negative 9 minus negative 4. Then negative 9 minus positive 4 and positive 9 minus negative 4. The first one that we're going to start with is positive 9 minus positive 4. For this one, I would use the 9 bar. I have positive 9 here, and I'm going to subtract positive 4. So for this, I would just show the students that we can cover up 4 of the beads on the bar and then have them count what is left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So positive 9 minus positive 4 equals positive 5. They can record that answer. For the next example, we're going to use the negative 9 bar. So we have negative 9 and we're subtracting negative 4. So for this one, I'm going to, again, use my thumb to cover up 4 of the beads. I'm subtracting negative 4 and then have the students count what is left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 left on the negative bar. So negative 9 minus negative 4 equals negative 5. For this next example, we have negative 9 and we're subtracting positive 4. So again, we'll use our negative 9 bar. For this one, we don't have positive 4 on the bar. So we're going to show the students that if we take positive 4 and the negative 4, that they equal 0. But what we're removing is the positive 4. So I'm going to take that away. What we're left with is negative 9 and negative 4. That equals negative 13. So we'll record that. We have negative 9 minus positive 4 equals negative 13. In our last example, we're going to use the positive 9 bar, and we're subtracting negative 4. On the positive 9 bar, we don't have a way to cover or to, or to take away our negative 4. So again, we're going to use the negative 4 and the positive 4. Our equation tells us that we're subtracting the negative 4, so we're taking that away. And what we're left with now is 9 and 4, positive 9, positive 4. So we have 13. So what we have is positive 9 minus negative 4. That equals positive 13. After working with these equations several times, the students can see that when subtracting sign numbers, they're going to change the sign of the subtrahend, and they'll add it to the minuend.